welcome to replication training. Uh, so if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are joining us uh, for track one. And we're so excited to have you as a part of this journey and just wanted to take a few minutes and kind of give you an introduction to what we're going to be doing in the course. So our goal is that when we're together and gathering these moments that we can spend that whole time learning, collaborating, coaching, praying, diving deeper into the practice, and to use resources like this video to help get at some of the logistics and some of the questions you might have and kind of let you know about some of the resources that will be available to you so we're not wasting your time when we're in the room. We want to make the most of that and be good stewards of that. And so just as a reminder, the, the replication training pipeline program, whatever you want to call it, pathway, there's all kind of P's we can use. I'm a pastor, so, you know, we, we, we do that kind of thing to help us remember. The goal is to help take men and women who want to grow as disciple makers or grow as leaders and to help you pursue that faster alongside others. And so our communities are a great first step to be introduced to the pursuit of disciple making, to, bring, to provide some accountability and a, and a context where you can come alongside others. And that's just a normal week by week rhythm that I hope you have begun to pursue and will continue to pursue. Replication training is meant to be the concentrated version to help you kind of fast track not your spiritual growth, but your pursuit of growing as a disciple maker. So the way I've been explaining it to people, it's the espresso version of the discipleship blueprint. So in the communities, we're going to be talking about the discipleship blueprint week in and week out. But this is a concentrated form of that to help you get started in, as a disciple maker in that journey or to take a next step. Uh, to give you resources, tools, encouragement, not just from me, but from the other men and women who are going to be a part of this group alongside of you. So that's what it is. Uh, and how it works is the goal is that the four tracks that build upon each other become a leadership development pipeline. So you might be watching this and being a part of the class and say, I really don't have any desire to be a leader in the church. I just want to grow as a disciple maker. And if that's you, that's okay. We want you to grow as a disciple maker. I think this will help you. Uh, but for some of you, you want to grow as a man or a woman who's a leader in the local church. Uh, and we know scripture is really clear that leadership is not separated from discipleship. To be a leader means you are a disciple maker. So instead of focusing just on what is a leader and leadership principles, we want to start with what is a disciple maker. And if you can learn how to grow in discipling others and eventually get to the point where you're discipling, discipling makers, then you might have kind of that calling and capacity from God on your life to be a leader in the local church or whatever level that might look like. And so this is to help you on that journey, help you take a next step in that growth. Uh, and the goal for all of us is that we would just grow as disciple makers, that we would be more intentional with the men, women, boys and girls, teenagers that God has brought into our life, will bring into our life to help them take next steps of following Jesus. I think this track is going to help you do that and not just help you, but one of the goals of doing a structure like this where there's going to be 10 to 20 people in the room with you is that not just you would receive something from it, but you would challenge, encourage, admonish, champion other brothers and sisters. So scripture's really clear, iron sharpens iron. And that's what we want to be in this environment, this cohort, if you want to call it that, that we're not just coming in, uh, listening, walking out individually, but we are pushing, encouraging, praying for, coming along one another on this journey. And it's to put some people uh, on your team who can help you grow as a disciple maker, but you can also help them. So that's kind of some of the big goals. So let's talk about the format and function a little bit. So this is something new that we're trying. Instead of just having a course that runs like eight weeks or nine weeks or 27 weeks, that'd be a little ridiculous, but, but you understand how that works. And week after week after week, you're coming to a classroom. We didn't want to do it that way. We want it to be a practicum, a, a laboratory. And so some weeks we'll gather together. There'll be teaching and equipping. Uh, there'll be conversation and discussion. Uh, and then we'll go out and practice on our own. 
some weeks we won't meet together, and you'll just kind of have those weeks free to pursue the person that you're discipling or people and to take the questions and the content and the ideas and to begin those conversations with those individuals. There'll be weeks that are mainly uh, built around collaboration and evaluation and feedback. So you come back into the room, you share about your conversations, you share what you've been learning, what the tensions you're feeling, the, the questions you have, and we speak into one another. Then there's also going to be space for individualized coaching. So maybe there's just things in the group context we don't get at, and you'd really like to be able to sit down one-on-one or one-on-two and just kind of get some personalized coaching as a disciple maker. We want to make that available. So the, the track itself is eight weeks long. We'll only meet in person five of those weeks. First week will be kind of just a, a fire hydrant of what is a disciple maker, uh, how does discipleship work, how does spiritual formation work, how do you take next steps, how do we grow as individuals in Jesus Christ. So it will be pretty content heavy. Uh, and then after that, there'll be really two more weeks of training, one on the conversion stage, one on the submission stage. And then the other two weeks are more of feedback and conversation and investment. The other three that are kind of built in in between are spaces for coaching, spaces for you to practice, spaces for you to lean into other people. So that's the format. If you have questions about it, you can reach out to me personally, but that's kind of what we're going to be doing. So here are the expectations as you come in. Really three things that are really important that I want you to think about and lean into. First, consistent engagement is important. There's only five times that we're gathering together, so you need to be there. If you're looking at the schedule and you're like, I can only make two of those or I can only make three of those, then this probably isn't the best time for you to take replication training. Um, I would ask that you're there at least four of the five, if at all possible, be there five out of five weeks. That's going to be really important for your growth, but not just for you, for everyone else who's in in the course as well. Uh, we've tried to make it really flexible, so we've got the Sunday and the Wednesday option. So if, there's, if you're in the Sunday group, there's a week you can't make Sunday, come Wednesday. If you're in the Wednesday group and there's a week you can't make Wednesday, come previously on that Sunday. So you get kind of two shots each week to be there, which I think will help uh, most of us. Um, and then we'll also put some of the content online as a resource to help you, but that doesn't replace kind of us coming together in person. So consistent engagement's number one. Number two, uh, requirement is personal discipleship. So if you're going to be in this track, you have to be discipling someone else, at least one other person, where you are intentionally investing in that brother or sister or trying to lead them to Christ and help them grow in that. Ideally, you've got two or three, uh, but you can't go through this course and not be trying to disciple someone. So we'll help you take first steps if there's no one in your life you're actively pursuing, but you've got to do that. That's going to be how we grow, not just getting information, but actually living it out alongside of other people. So uh, that's the second one, consistent engagement, personal discipleship. Third, last, is community involvement. So the replication training isn't meant to replace the communities that happen on Sunday morning and Wednesday night. They're meant to run in collaboration with them. So if you're not a part of a community, that doesn't mean that you can't be a part of replication training, but you're missing a major part of it. The communities become a place where you can go back into and take the tools that you're learning and apply them around tables with other brothers, sisters in our church. For some of you, that will be where you find the person you're going to disciple is they are already showing up in a community and they need someone to invest in them. So I would ask you, encourage you, if you can possibly make it happen, be in a community on Sunday morning or on Wednesday night alongside of replication training that's going to help you, that's going to help others, that's the way it's built. And on the other side of track one, the goal is that you would take the things you've learned back into a community and help other people grow. So consistent engagement, personal discipleship, community involvement. Last thing I want to let you know about is resources. So we want to help you grow in this journey. We're limited in the amount of time that we can spend together, so we're going to try to put resources together to help you. So after each week, we're going to take some of the teaching uh, that we've given, and we're going to record it and put it online so you can go back if you want to and watch some of it if that's helpful. We'll put slides and notes online so you can go back and find the things we talked about. Uh, We'll put books online, and so I've got a stack of books here, and I'll recommend a couple to you as we talk about disciple-making. One is Discipling by Mark Dever. This is really helpful. It's 
Theology and Practical Way to Start. Another one is Multiply by Francis Chan, David Platt. This one's really good to take someone through if you're trying to figure out where to get started with someone who's new in their faith or is kind of wondering about the Christian faith and what it is. So we'll put a list of books that you can just go get the link, buy if you want to have more resources to go along. I'm not going to make you read anything as a part of this course. I know some of you are like, whew, uh, I can't read or I don't want to read anymore. So if you don't want to, you don't have to, but we'll put those resources there. Uh, and then lastly, we'll be putting a worksheet that you can use. And that worksheet, again, it's not something you, you have to use, but a tool to help you think through who are you discipling, what is their next step, and to kind of track that. Um, and it's a tool that we're using with our staff team and elders, and we'll make that available to you as well. So I know that's a lot to take in, uh, and the goal is to do that here in a video format and not have to do that in a classroom kind of setting. So if you have further questions about any of the logistics, uh, what's going to happen, where we're going to meet, all of the courses will be at the church, and we'll send out locations and times and all that kind of stuff uh, through email. But if you have any other questions, please reach out to me, email me, uh, and I'd be happy to serve you any way I can. I look forward to growing alongside you in replication training as we take a next step of making disciples who make disciples. God bless you.